Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors. Born on the 7th of October 1940, William G. Bill Dance is one of the most famous fishermen in the world during his long career. Bill has won numerous competitions and titles, but what most people know him from is his passion for passing on his knowledge to others. As the host of the longest running and most popular TV fishing show in the US, Bill Dance Outdoors. Bill grew up in Lynchburg, Tennessee. During his teenage years, he dreamed of becoming a doctor just like his father and grandfather and was even enrolled into a local medical school. But witnessing a gruesome motorcycle accident in the early 1960s changed his mind. He then turned his focus to fishing, achieving amazing success in the field as a boy. Bill would often accompany his grandfather when he went fishing, which is when his longtime passion for the field began. Subsequently, and long before Bill Dance Outdoors came to be what it is today, Bill already had one of the all-time great tournament careers behind him. He started off by competing in Bassmaster tournaments and was credited for catching the first ever bass in the history of the competition. This began a streak of Bill winning seven of the first 17 Bassmaster events he competed in, during which period Bill was also rewarded with the title of Angler of the Year three times in 1970, 74, and 77, and also holding 23 national bass titles. In 1978, Bill won the Congressional National Safety Award, joining previous recipients who include Jacques Cousteau and Lloyd Bridges throughout his career. Bill was inducted into several Hall of Fame institutions, which include the Bass Fishing, the National Freshwater, the IGFA, and the Tennessee Sports Hall of Fame. Furthermore, the magazine Field & Stream named him one of the most influential people in the sport of fishing. In May 2021, Bill was awarded an honorary doctorate by the Herbert College of Agriculture, University of Tennessee. He is also credited for popularizing the Carolina Rig, a type of plastic fish bait similar to a Texas rig, but with the weight fixed above the hook. Aside from having a successful career as a TV host, Bill is also a published author with 13 books about fishing under his belt. Today, Bill oversees a fishing empire consisting of his two TV shows, endorsements, educational material, and a magazine, along with a series of popular blooper videos from his shows. His lucrative TV career started back in 1968 when Bill was approached by a fishing lure manufacturer who wanted him to start a TV show to promote their products. The series Bill Dance Outdoors initially aired as a local program on the Memphis-based station WHBQ-TV before moving to ESPN and eventually Outdoor Life Network, on which it airs today. Bill stopped fishing competitively in 1980 to fully focus on his TV show, which has now aired for more than 54 years and close to 1,000 episodes, making it the longest continuously running fishing show on TV in the US. Each episode of Bill Dance Outdoors is about a half an hour long and focuses on various recreational fishing techniques, mainly targeting black bass species, with occasional focus on other kinds of fish such as catfish and bluegill. Bill exclusively teaches by example, showing how he caught a certain fish which is then released at the end of the episode. As described by the website American Profile, Bill and his crew of three cameramen may spend up to four days filming footage for a single episode of the show. In 2008, Bill Dance Outdoors spawned its only spin-off entitled Bill Dance Saltwater, in which Bill goes out to the open sea on his boat to catch sea fish. Since these aren't his main area of expertise, in each episode, Bill is joined by a noted saltwater fishing expert who specializes in that week's catch. Behind the scenes footage from both Bill Dance Outdoors and Bill Dance Saltwater has also become a popular series on their own, as Bill's bloopers are watched and enjoyed by even non-anglers. As a TV host, Bill quickly became recognized not only for his knowledge and charm, but for a unique appearance as well. His signature look included sunglasses and an orange Tennessee Volunteers baseball cap. The story behind this is quite interesting. Near the beginning of his career, Bill helped the then Volunteers football coach Doug Rickey, who asked him to give a talk about the great fishing in Big Orange County. In gratitude, Doug sent Bill a few Power T baseball caps, and since then, Bill has been wearing them to fishing tournaments as a good luck charm and continued the practice in his TV shows. Away from the show, he's described as a people person, as revealed by his PR agent Carlton Bayers. Bill's never met a stranger, whether it's at some rural little boat dock or at a big outdoor show in Las Vegas. And it's genuine. He likes people, and people like him. That's the key to his success. However, his popularity has its downsides too, since almost every fisherman in the US recognizes Bill from his TV show that brings a lot of attention to him whenever he goes filming, which sometimes forces the crew to retreat to private waters. Bill attributes a lot of his success to his wife Diane, who has been his greatest support for the past 50 years. The two met on a blind date, when Bill's original date didn't show up. They have four children together, daughter Pamela, and sons Patrick, Paul, and Bill Jr., who help him run his outdoors productions. Diane is one of the first people to support Bill when he decided to make fishing his full-time career, saying that she never doubted for a minute that her husband would be a great TV host. The family currently resides in the suburb of Collierville, located near Memphis, Tennessee. His TV production studios are located next door. In producing his show, Bill has partnered with many companies that specialize in making fishing gear, such as Cabela's Bass Pro Shop, Grammin, Monster Marine Lithium, and many more.
In 2017, Bill joined forces with fellow fishermen Jimmy Houston and Roland Martin in launching their own company, TH3 Legends, specializing in manufacturing and selling fishing equipment. In 2019, Bill took to Instagram to explain that he had an issue which he believed to be the worst case of indigestion he's ever had. It turned out that he'd had a heart attack and was rushed to a nearby hospital in Mountain Home, Arkansas, where he underwent a heart stent procedure. One heart stent later, and I feel better than I felt in over 20 years, Bill said in his post. This incident sparked some rumors about his death but Bill has since fully recovered and has returned to filming his TV show as usual. Since recovering from his heart attack, a lot has been happening in Bill's life. In December 2021, the governor of Tennessee, Bill Lee, announced the Bill Dance Signature Lakes Initiative with the aim of improving and enhancing Tennessee lakes. The state is set to invest more than $15 million in improvements at 18 lakes, mainly focused on providing better conditions for local fishermen. The project, which seeks to solidify Tennessee as the heart of fishing in the southeast region of the U.S., was done as a collaboration between Tennessee State Parks, Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency, and Tennessee Department of Tourist Development. I'm unbelievably humbled and excited to be involved in such a helpful project that will benefit so many people and our natural resources. In my great home state of Tennessee, Bill Dance said about the initiative, you can bet your favorite lure this project will definitely have a ripple effect for a mighty long time, not only giving weekend fishermen, but tournament anglers a wonderful fishery as well. Thanks to the great state of Tennessee and my friends at TWRA. So far, Bill and his partners have selected nine lakes of particular importance for the local fishing industry, which will be improved as part of the initiative. The project is set to start late in 2022 and is expected to be completed in 2024. Also in late 2021, Bill received an unusual honor for his 81st birthday, namely, the country musician Luke Bryan released a song about him, simply entitled Bill Dance. Born and raised in rural Georgia, Bryan grew up bass fishing on the Muckley Creek. Bill Dance became a big inspiration for him as a fisherman. As he watched his show on TV every Saturday and Sunday, Bryan co-wrote the song with Red Atkins, Dallas Davidson, and Ben Hayslip with whom he previously collaborated on a single Hunting, Fishing, and Lovin' Every Day. The song was followed by a complimentary music video, which featured an appearance from Bill himself, shot at Brian's farm, located near Bill's hometown of Nashville, Tennessee. It opened with a shot of the singer's young sons watching Bill's show on TV, before he surprised the boys by knocking on their door and inviting them to go fishing with him. Bill's influence in the fishing community hasn't faded, as was evident in his interview with Bassmaster Live in March 2022. He mentioned that, because of his long association with another BASS legend, Roland Martin, he would be rooting for the latter's son, Scott, in the upcoming Bassmaster competition. Following the interview, Scott popped to the top of the Bass Track leaderboard, seemingly out of nowhere. Unfortunately, he didn't end up winning, but the added publicity surely didn't hurt him. Despite his age, Bill likes to keep up with the times and is fairly active in social media platforms. On Instagram, his account, at Bill Dance, is verified and numbers more than 180,000 followers and on which he shares pictures of his biggest catches and news about his TV show. Bill is also active on YouTube, having launched his channel back in October 2008 and which now numbers close to 100,000 subscribers. Bill has since accumulated more than 26 million views of all his videos combined. On there, he posts short fishing tutorial videos, outtakes, and promos for his TV shows, along with product reviews. However, his most viewed content by far are the so-called blooper reels from Bill Dance Outside, which are garnering millions of views, even among non-fishermen. If you're active on the short video sharing platform TikTok, you can follow Bill's account at, at Bill Dance Official. The legendary fisherman launched his account in February 2022, but has been very active on it, having uploaded just a handful of videos. While Bill Dance has popularized bass fishing throughout his TV career, this activity already had a long history in the US. This doesn't come as a surprise, considering that North America houses numerous black bass species, including spotted, Guadeloupe, smallmouth, and largemouth bass. The sport exploded in popularity during the 19th century through wealthy sport anglers in the northeastern U.S., later being popularized among working classes. It's notable that bass fishing in the U.S. largely developed on its own without influence by fishing techniques used in other parts of the world. The effects of industrialization dammed and polluted many of the country's eastern trout rivers, which were now too warm to house the said species. To mitigate the effects, smallmouth bass were often introduced to those rivers which made them a popular game fish among local anglers. During the 1950s and 60s, the technological development of angling tools made bass fishing more easily accessible. Recently, advanced electronics that make the sounds of schooling bait have surged into usage, but have been the subject of controversy concerning their validity of use in competitions. Some of the most popular bass fishing locations in the US are lakes, such as Lake Murray, Lake Dixon, and Lake Jennings. Outside of North America, bass fishing is particularly popular in South Africa and Japan. The sport was helped along by the chase for the long-standing world record set by George Perry in 1932, who reportedly caught the biggest bass ever, weighing 22 pounds and 4 ounces, or over 10 kilograms. Meantime, Bill Dance continues with what he's been doing for so many decades, fishing himself for fun, and popularizing fishing for sport in particular, through his TV show, Killer. 
Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.